Hi, this is David, and thanks for checking out this video. Uh, what I'm going to do with this video is just kind of explain how to swap a sort of a mediocre sky for a, one that looks a little bit better with some big poofy clouds. And I always like the big poofy white clouds. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and start with two basic images that I have. One is a shot of Death Valley with just kind of a mediocre sky. And the other one is of Amsterdam where I had seen a lot of big poofy clouds. So uh, what I want to do is take these clouds and move those over to and put them behind the mountains on this and uh, sort of delete the sky. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just do a Command J to, to duplicate the, this layer. I don't like doing anything on the original layer uh, just because if there's any uh, anything we do that's a mistake, we can always go back to the original one and start from scratch again. So that's why I do that. Uh, what I'm going to also do is I'm going to come down to the background layer. This is just more for the tutorial, uh, just above the background layer. And what I'm going to do is just add a, a blank layer above that. So we have basically um, the layer we're going to work on, which is layer one. And layer two is going to be, I'm just going to fill with white. And what this is going to do is just going to allow you to see what we're doing. Um, um, so it'll, it'll make sense in a minute. Uh, so we're going to work on this layer. And what I want to do is get rid of the sky. So I'm going to go to the Quick Selection tool. And this image is perfect for this because there's a real strong line of contrast between the blue sky and the brown of the mountains. So I'm just going to drag this across here. And what it's going to do is just select that whole area across the top. Now a lot of times when you do this you will have a little sort of a fringe area in here where the sky is, uh, there's a little bit of sky possibly in between the mountains and the new sky. So what I'm going to do is come to refine edge and I'm going to shift that edge in a little bit. Uh, and what we want to do is basically when we shift the edge it's going to basically bring the edge of the, the, the selection down into the mountains a little bit. And I'm going to just feather it just a little bit and then click OK. And then you can see how that's basically pulled that into the mountains a little bit. And I didn't have to do it that much, but just for the sake of the, t the tutorial, I'll just go ahead and do it that uh, just so it makes it a little easier and clearer for you to understand what's happening. So basically what it's done is gotten rid of the sky and cropped off just a, a touch of the mountains. Uh, at this point, since that the sky is selected, I'm going to hit delete. And what you're seeing now is you're, you're able to see against, that's why we put in the white, you're able to see the selection. I'm going to right click and then deselect that area. So it's a, it's a pretty clean, clean selection right there. So now what we'll do is we're going to go hit, hit our move tool. I'm going to go to the other image. Actually, let's go to selection. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the sky, uh, select the sky. So I'm just pulling the, with the selection tool down. I'm just sort of getting the majority of the sky here. Go back to the Move tool. I'm going to click on this, hold the button down, and then just drag it up to the next image, and then bring it back down here. I'm still holding the button down and then releasing. And what that's done is that's basically dropped the image over the new image. I do want that behind the mountains, so here's where our mountains are. So I'm going to drop that down just below that, and that drops them behind. Now the size is a little bit not quite what I was looking for. So uh, I'd like to get a little more clouds in there. So I'm going to do a free transform on the clouds. So to do that, I'm going to do a Command T. And then that allows me to free transform. So at this point, I can stretch it and do pretty much whatever I'd like to it. And since they're clouds, it's not real critical to keep the proportions correct. If I wanted to keep the proportions correct, all I would do is have to push the Shift key, hold that down, and then just drag from a corner. And that will keep the proportions at the, at the correct proportion. But since we're not going to worry about that on this, I'm going to go ahead and just drag this up a little bit. And i got to watch. I know that I did get the tops of the houses in here. So I'm just going to go just below that, kind of drop it behind. I'm going to pop this out just a little bit on both sides. And that's basically it. And at this point, then you can, uh, if you'd like to, you can flatten some of the layers. You can basically take these three layers and just link these together or actually just merge, let's go ahead and merge those layers together. So, so now what we have is we have the before and after. Pretty quick and simple way, and then what you can do now is make any other adjustments you want to. So if you want to change the color a little bit or anything like that, you can do that. But pretty simple way to change the sky. Uh, hopefully this was helpful for you, and if you have any comments, please comment on YouTube. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Thanks so much.